fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support if you're a returning subscriber but if you're new here you are welcome please before you leave this channel make sure you remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video In this video i'm going to be sharing with you the important things that you need to know if you think of dating outside your race and before i start our today's video i just want you to know that i'm doing this video not to discourage you not to tell you dating outside your race is bad or it is difficult not at all i'm doing this video to encourage you i want to help you avoid those i wish i knew moments those surprise moments so that is why i am doing this video to help you out guys i know there is that first time moment of doing something but a little bit of information is always helpful so without wasting much of your time let us start our video right away number one thing that i think it is very important for you to know before you think of dating outside your race is that if you're going to leave the country of your origin and go to another country to live with your husband or your wife and it is the country that is not yours you need to have a very mature mind you need to be strong and you need to be very independent why am i saying this i am saying this because that country that you are going to live in it's you and your husband you don't have your relatives your mother your brothers your sisters your friends it is another environment that you are not used to a very new, new environment so you need to be very independent because everything that you do you will have to decide on your own <laughs> and if problems comes your way you will need to solve them the mature way <laughs> there is no mother to ask there is no your brother to ask no friends to ask you are on your own and maybe the relatives of your husband or your wife what i'm trying to say here is that if you get a problem and you're in another country which is not the country of your origin you are on your own to deal with it that is why you need a mature mind to deal with all problems that comes your way remember problems are for everyone everyone passes through tough times so during those moments you really need to be strong very independent and very mature in the mind otherwise if you're weak you might even want to return to your country and live alone the marriage thing <laughs> or some people will tell you i want even to commit suicide just because they cannot deal with the problems that comes their way because they are on their own they were used to be helped by relatives friends <laughs> in their country so you are on your own the problem is here you have to face it and say yes this is my problem i have to face it i am strong everything is going to be fine <laughs> so you need to be strong you need to have a very mature mind i remember one time there is a problem that happened to me and guys i was scared to death very scared do you know those moments that something happens to you you are scared and you start driving <laughs> going to the washroom just because you are very scared during that difficult time i was able to conquer that problem because i've went through a lot of situations in my life so i was strong already that is why i managed to conquer that problem and with the help of god when you are alone in another country it is outside your race everything is new it is you your husband maybe and your kid you need to be mature you need to be independent and you need to depend on god so much because he is the only one that you will run to when problems comes to you and he's the one who will give you the energy to conquer every problem that comes your way so i thought this is very important for you to know before you think of dating outside your race that is the situation you are on your own you need to be strong you need to be mature you need to be independent 
Number two, that I think it is very, very important for you to know if you think dating outside your race and you're going to leave your country and go to another country which is not of your origin. Let's take an example. You have found a man, maybe this man is a white man, someone connected you to, or you found this man online and you start chatting, everything is going very well, you love each other, and there is those plans that one day you are going to meet in his country. What I think it is very important and I'm advising you to do is to start researching about the visa processes. You need to know what are the requirements, what questions do they ask, what do they need so that you can get that particular visa that you will ask. If it is a tourist visa or a fiancé visa, you should do enough research to avoid those surprises when you arrive at the embassy because those people have got questions. <laughs> they might even ask you questions and you wonder, why are they asking me this, you know? If you've been through a visa process, you know how hectic it is. It is so difficult. You guys can love each other so much that you want to meet and live together, but the visa can be a big problem. It can be a challenge. That is why it is important for you to research so that you start to know what do they need. Yes, like I said, there is that first time moment. <laughs> we cannot ignore that moment, but at least you have a bit of information about the whole visa process. I remember when I was denied visa the first time when I applied to come to Italy, I cried and when I cried a lot, I thought, it will take six months before I apply again for the visa. <laughs> but I was wrong, guys. I did not do enough research until my husband called the embassy and they told him after two or three weeks, I can apply again for my visa. <laughs> so after knowing that information, I was very relieved. But if I had known that information, then I wouldn't have cried. It is very important, guys, for you to know everything. What do they need for you to acquire that visa? <laughs> visa can be hectic, guys. I can also remember those moments, guys, waiting for the visa. Everyone is like this, scared <laughs> to hell. <laughs> you don't know if they're going to give you the visa or not. Someone is waiting for the visa like you're waiting for HIV results. <laughs> very scared very frustrating guys so please make research if you see things are going very well with with your boyfriend that you're chatting with and you know that moment of applying for the visa will arrive please start making that research number three that i think it is very important for you to know if you're planning to date outside your race and maybe you are planning to go join your boyfriend or your girlfriend in his country and this country doesn't speak the same language as the one you speak it is so important guys and very helpful for you to start learning that language the good thing is the information is there there is a lot of youtube videos where they teach languages you can go on google and learn languages so you have everything at your disposal you need to learn that language and the reason is it will help you if you go to that country you know how you can communicate yes it will be difficult for you to know everything <laughs> by learning online in a short period of time but at least you know those basic words like how are you how old are you where are you coming from you know this will help you if you go to that country you can communicate a little bit <laughs> not only that when you learn his language or her language he will be or she will be very impressed and will see that you're really interested in him and you truly love him so it's important to know the language start learning <laughs> I told you the story that when I was connected to my husband <laughs> and then everything was going very well, I started learning Italian. <laughs> but guess what? When I came here, <laughs> someone asked me, <laughs> what is your name? And then I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> I did not know how to answer. But after that incident, 
I knew how to answer that because I had learned before how to answer if someone asks me, what is your name? How old are you? Where are you coming from? So please learn some basic words. <laughs> Number four, that I think it is very important for you to know if you think of dating outside your race is that you should lower, lower your expectations, especially guys, if you have not visited that country. <laughs> yes, guys, I'm saying this to avoid the disappointments. You arrive in a country like, what? So this is how it is. <laughs> <laughs> like for me, when I was thinking of Europe, when I was still in Africa, I used to think that Europe is like the way we see New York, <laughs> tall buildings and all that. <laughs> but when I arrived here, I found that buildings are normal, especially the city where I live. The buildings are of the same level and it is because we have the Alps Mountains so they built those buildings to be of the same level so that the Alps mountain can be seen very clearly which is a very beautiful view <laughs> so when i arrived here i was really really surprised <laughs> not to find tall 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 buildings here in my city where i live so not only that guys there is a lot of things that are so different especially when it comes to hair like i said it is a struggle <laughs> for us black women <laughs> when i was in my country i could change the hairstyle whenever i like <laughs> i do this hairstyle and after finishing i'm thinking of the next hairstyle that i will do but here you can go to the saloon make your hair and then after two or three months you visit the saloon again especially if you're not working that you need to have your hair looking good all the time maybe you're a stay-at-home mom but in my country no matter you're going to work no matter you're not going to work your hair is always looking so good so don't put your expectations so high that you will be looking so glamorous all the time <laughs> like the way you are looking now <laughs> When you come here, it is very, very different. It is not only that going to the saloons is very expensive, but also sometimes it can be very, very complicated. Like me, there is a woman who used to do my hair just at home, but afterwards I make an appointment and when it arrives that day, this woman starts telling stories, come tomorrow, then you go, she has got a lot of kids, taking care of the kids, coming and touching your hair, going back, the kid is crying, <laughs> and all that. It is very, very complicated to stay looking glamorous all the time, especially when you are here in Europe. So that is why I am saying, lower your expectations. <laughs> and also, if you are a lady or you are a man who likes like, running around going to the clubs and all that life is different here guys it's not like back home <laughs> whereby life is always happening here sometimes life can be really really slow especially in winter days i think it is good to lower your expectations whatever you will find here it won't be a surprise if everything is good <laughs> life is happening then it is okay if life is a bit slow, then that will be okay. You will remember Bella did a video telling us to lower our expectations. So I should accept the situation as it is. Number five, you should be open-minded if you're planning to date outside your race. I'm saying this because everything is different. The culture is different. The food is different. <laughs> How they do things in that particular country is different from yours. You should be open-minded and be ready to accept the culture of your boyfriend or of your girlfriend <laughs> so that he can accept you as too. You know, it's so important. Don't think that you arrive in a country, you go to an Asian food store, buy your food, African food, or <laughs> the food of your country, cook it, always eat that and force this man to eat that food whereby you you don't want to taste his food <laughs> and know how it tastes you should be open-minded to try out his food <laughs> so that he can also try out your food 
<laughs> it is a mixing of the culture so you should accept his culture so that he can accept your culture if you don't do that then it is going to be a very big problem and you're going to argue all the time due to culture differences maybe we take an example he takes you to his friend and then you just sit on one place you don't want to talk to people yes language can be a barrier but you have the phone you have google translator if you want to speak to people just write the word and it will translate for you these people will understand that you really want to integrate you really want to talk to them be open-minded accept his culture accept his people accept everything about him so that he can accept yours so i think this also is very important for you to know if you're planning to date outside your race number six that you should know if you think of dating outside your race is that you should be ready to be judged the reason why I'm saying this is that not everyone is going to think like you. Be ready to get those strange looks. People looking at you like, I don't know, <laughs> you're from the forest. But what I advise you is that to always keep it positive. Don't think that these people hate you. Don't think that these people are looking at you maybe because you don't love the man, you're there for money. Don't even put those negative thoughts in your mind just ignore them concentrate on your life and that's all that will help you so much also i'm saying be ready to be judged some people they are just haters racist for no reason that is how they are ever fight back just because someone is giving you strange looks or they're just or they're judging you or they're showing racism on you just ignore them because no matter what you do they will never change their mind it is in their blood so it is better to ignore them because some people just look for a reason to take your life there is an incident that happened here in italy whereby two black people were killed it happened whereby this italian guy was showing racism on a woman and a man could not resist he wanted to put some sense into this italian man and what happened this italian man took the life of the wife and the husband just like that guys just because someone was trying to defend her wife he took the life and this also reminds me of a story that happened to me one time we were out and where we parked there was a bmw motorbike parked near us so when i opened the door the door went till till the end and nearly touched that motorbike so when we returned so that we can return home i opened again the car door to enter nearly touched this bmw motorbike so the owner was near and then he came he started telling me did you touch my <laughs> did you touch my motorbike did you touch my motorbike <laughs> We always laugh about this with my husband. <laughs> did you touch my motorbike? Did you? Did you? Did you touch my motorbike with the door? I told him no. If I wasn't here, if I wasn't here, no, the door did not scratch your motorbike. So he started looking his motorbike, <laughs> the whole of the motorbike, looking at it. And he was saying, if I wasn't here, if I wasn't here. So he was looking for a war. But my husband told me, just enter in the car so that we can go. These people, you don't have to respond to them. You don't have to fight them. Even if someone is talking to you in a bad way, just ignore him. Maybe he has a gun, who knows? So it is better to leave them alone. So be ready to be judged. Another story that happened recently, guys, like three days has passed. We're at the park with Sophie and then there was a kid who was playing with Sophie, a boy. This boy is Italian. He's a white boy. He was playing with Sophie at the park and afterwards he took Sophie to introduce her to another friend who is a girl, also a white girl. And when they reached this girl, I was so close so I could hear what these kids are saying so this boy told the girl that ah let's play with this her name is sophie and then this little girl she was like five years <laughs> told the boy that she's black you know in italian <laughs> <E> nera. 
<laughs> Imagine guys, a little girl of five years. I don't blame that little angel. I blame the parents, you know, what they put into her mind. So be ready to be judged. As long as it doesn't hurt you physically, just ignore it. <laughs> People are like that. Just be ready to be judged. It is normal. You just need to enjoy your life, live your life. Just ignore them. That is the advice that I'm giving you. So guys, if you have noticed that my voice is a kind different in this video, it's that I'm not feeling all that well. I took a vaccine yesterday and I've been having fever, flu. I'm not feeling all that well, guys. I want to take the measurement so that you can see. So here is the thermometer. So that's my fever. Pray for me, guys. <laughs> I'm not feeling all that well. But I'm so glad that I was able to make this video for you. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are so good. Comment below what you think about this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Bye.